Five, four, do it. Three, two, two, do it. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Harley, and I'm here with another video. Uh, so you guys know I made a couple of videos on the topic of Andrew Yang. I support him as a candidate. I'm not usually political on this channel, but I do think he is a great candidate. If I'm sorry for the lag because I'm streaming on Twitch also. You guys follow me on Twitch if you want to see more. But um, his biggest argument, UBI, before the storm closes, I just want to show you guys something. Where did I find it? Okay, here, here it is. So, automation. Now, keep in mind, this looks like, I don't know if this is a hospital or it looks like some type of surgeon room on the coast for the army in Fortnite. But is this game kind of foreshadowing like a robot doing surgery or some sort? Because it's by a bed, which is clearly made for a woman. This is clearly like a military base on the coast. There's boats. Let's get out of here because it's story. But I just want to see you guys' thoughts. You know, is automation real? You see all these big things in pop culture, like foreshadowing. Clearly, it's automation, you know? Let's go to Salty. I just thought that was interesting, you know? I thought it was pretty cool. It just it looked something it looked really really interesting. You guys let me know your thoughts, you know. Um, Andrew Yang, that's his biggest argument. Our nation is gonna take over not only the low income and uh, the not only just low income, but Ooh, sorry dude. <laughs> but not only just a low income, but you know. Like, oh, here we go. Hold on. Where is he at? You try. Come on. Dang it, that was a close one. But they're gonna take over like the high paying jobs, like the ones you gotta get a college degree for or skills. Or, you know, even sometimes if you build a business or if you're a software engineer, like, these jobs can be taken up by AI and robots. So. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Andrew Yang's argument is valid, especially with a lot of things in pop culture? Kind of not only foreshadowing it, not only like 20 years ago, but now it's like a reality. Like we see this shit happening. Like I walk in McDonald's, you see a damn uh, computer doing a cashier's job. It's, it's crazy, man. Oh, no, I'm just drunk thinking about this stuff. I figured out how to record it. But it's something I'm just thinking about. Uh, is automation is, is the uh, concern really a big deal? Is it, is it valid? Um, no, know. It's, it's hard to decide if it's valid or not. Because there could be a lot of factors involving with automation. It could be, it could be anything, really. You don't really know. Um, because automation has happened in the past. Now, UBI. Is UBI justified because of automation? and mad that a lot of human rights being uh, displaced. I think people should learn new skills. I don't know if UBI could, could be the solution completely. You know? Like, I don't know. Maybe if he had UBI to where it was only implemented for a couple months for you to find a new job. Uh, build a new skill can be revolutionary, but to give people that for the rest of their life? Should he get UBI for the rest of life? In my opinion, I'm drunk, so I'm, I'm, like, I'm just so spitting real. No. The reason why is because when things are handed to you, I feel like it's not, uh, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. For you to have something just handed to you for the rest of your life. It may, yes, it can, because it's not enough to live off of, because it's like 20,000 a year, it can, all it, like, you can't even live off that in Hawaii. You know, I just love Hawaii. You can't live. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna work. But, I mean, still, giving people 20,000 a year, 
here can still be enough of an incentive for people not to be anything much. You know what I mean? You can live on 20000 a year in the uh, country. Uh, I mean, not just one country, but in the United States, you can live like somewhere in Tennessee where I live off 12000 if you're just very, 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 and I mean very, very, like, you know, reserved as a person. You're not really that time to live. Tennessee, um, Arizona, you got a couple places where you can barely, you may you're barely make it, you'll still be low income, and guess what, you don't make it, and sometimes people just want to make the bare minimum, I don't, I think UBI like, enables that, the way our society is structured, structured in capitalism is like, okay, you, you get a low paying job starting out, but hopefully you want to do something more, Strive for education or new skills, maybe build a business. I've seen tons of people build successful businesses for making twelve or ten dollars an hour. There's no excuse. We have the internet, right? So is UBI really the best solution? I don't know. I don't know. And they want to say, oh, the rich is doing this and they don't pay taxes, but I mean, they worked hard. Most look. I admit, some rich people did not really work that hard for what they had, okay? But some of them worked, okay? But we gotta not. You can't just say, blame it on the rich people. Oh, there we go. There's a guy. Okay. Yay! You're about to die. Alright, that was a bot. Seem like it. I can tell when it's a bot. I'm trying to get up here to this. It's insane. Maybe a, yeah. Yeah, I like the new Fortnite because if you break, that's a deal we break the thing, it doesn't take over here. What's that, dude? You trash, but yeah. I think it's just better for you to just work hard and think, hey, I'm gonna go and do this. Uh -huh. You know? Oh no, I'm in fact. Why is it going? It's weird. Oh, it's got two more buttons. Maybe let's try to get this win. Let's try to get a win. We're playing a solo match. 47 people out. Let's see how close I get. Andrew Yang. Yang Gang. We're Yang Gang, right? Yang Gang. Said, let's continue the conversation. I don't think UBI is a complete fucking solution. Like, come on now. It's just, it's just not. Like, you can't give people that much every year because, like, you know, like, well, I'm gonna take that 12,000 a year. Do you know what people could do with 12,000 a year? Like, realistically, like, if people are smart with their money, like, dude, you can go and buy a damn drop shipping store and like, start selling products. And like just start marketing those products and then you can really twelve thousand can really enable and especially someone with an entrepreneur mindset like me. I'm a streamer online. Like, dude, that can really change some shit for me. Like I would build a whole business off of that. 
because I'm already putting my capital on the line every day to build something. If I get extra capital from the government, it's a wrap. I'm not saying UB has a bad idea. I'm just saying for the general public, I know a lot of people who just won't do shit. I've been building businesses, building my YouTube channel, Twitch channel, and I know people who won't do shit because they get welfare. Think about it for a minute. They got tw extra 20000 a year. Imagine, do you really think they're going to do something? It doesn't make sense. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do anything. I'm not trying to like hate on people and say people are lazy. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm saying is I'm going to doing it. Because they're just not. Like, I hate to say that, but there's a lot of people I know won't do it. Just because, you know, that's all I'm saying. You know, me, maybe sad. It's true. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it. Now, some people are gonna take it all the way to the highway. They're gonna go all. They're gonna go all in. You know, some people aren't gonna take that opportunity. Like we have free college here, people still not take that opportunity. So you can't tell me what's going. You know what I mean? Acting crazy. Sorry, dude. Oh, he got me. Smart guy. Good one. Good one. Good one. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this talk. How I feel about UBI, what I think people would think of UBI. I told you guys, I don't know, man. It's a hard conversation. I feel like I do want to bring it back up on this channel once again. While playing Fortnite and streaming on Twitch, someone said something. Yeah. Yeah, this was not a good match. So. Yeah. Anyways, peace.